President of the Republic of Croatia, Mr. Admiral Alani, ladies and gentlemen, dear guests, dear friends, I'm extremely proud that I have a privilege and the honor to introduce uh, this uh, very special occasion our president, President of the Republic of Croatia, His Excellency Stepa Mesic. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, firstly, you will hear the address of the President of the Republic of Croatia, Mr. Stepan Mesic. Mr. Admiral, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to confer a decoration on a person who invested a lot of energy, a lot of time, and a lot of enthusiasm to bring an end to the story that started during the Second World War. He helped find the family of a Croat who had died during the attack on Pearl Harbor so that his family could receive the high decoration bestowed on his on this compatriot of ours, who was a member of the American military corps. This beautiful human story, a story about heroism in difficult times, times when death and destruction reigned, was given its true and logical ending when the members of the family of the soldier who had readily risked his own life to save others and who had lost his life in this noble endeavor, received the decoration from Fermioni. And it is on this day that this story is given its final ending, when I, as the President of the Republic of Croatia, have the opportunity to honor the person to whom we owe our gratitude. This is also an opportunity for us to remember the Second World War, a large-scale global fight for freedom of individuals and peoples, for free development of countries, for democracy and equality. And we should not forget that this is an opportunity to remember the war alliance forged in this fight. The alliance which represents, however, the ideals of the generation which bore the brunt of the Second World War. Ideals of peace and cooperation should remain the key guidelines for the behavior of responsible countries, of all the countries worldwide. I congratulate you on the success your endeavors were crowned with, and I bestow on you with pleasure the order of the Croatian Transport. Pursuant to the Article 97 of the Constitution of the Republic of Croatia and the Article 2, Paragraph 1 of the Declaration and Declarations and Awards Act of the Republic of Croatia, and upon the proposal of the State Commission for Decorations and Awards of the Republic of Croatia, the President of the Republic of Croatia issues the decision whereby Admiral Robert J. Lani is decorated for exceptional merits for the Republic of Croatia in the war, in direct danger of war, or in exceptional circumstances in peace with the order of the Croatian Trefoil. Thank you. During World War II, at the age of 17, on a ship that I was on assigned to the Amphibious Forces Pacific, I entered Pearl Harbor and I could see the sunken hulk of the USS Utah. Only years later did I realize that that sunken hulk contained the bodies of over 50 men, including the chief water tender, Peter Tomich, who is still entombed in that ship in a corner of Pearl Harbor. Just some background so that you can appreciate what Peter Tomich did on that morning at 0801, one minute after they raised the colors of that ship, the first super torpedo by the Japanese struck the ship amidship. The call was given to prepare to abandon ship. All of the men were ordered topside when within 10 minutes, the second torpedo hit. In the meanwhile, the ship started to capsize, and within 12 minutes, it had fully capsized with Peter Tomich going down below to warn the men to get out and
to save their lives, and also to turn off all of the boilers so the ship would not explode. By this act, he sacrificed his life to save all of the men in the engine room. Hundreds were saved, escaping as the ship capsized by swimming away with the Japanese machine gunning all of the survivors on the sea. One of the pleasures I had during my investigation was to interview a number of survivors of the ship. This is some years ago, and one man described to me how he was climbing up the ladder to save his life. Chief Tomich was going down below to save as many people as he could. By so doing, he sacrificed his own, li his own life, and as a Croatian immigrant here in America, he exhibited the true nature of his homeland and the true value of courage. This was his adopted country. He knew it was the land of the free because it was the home of the brave. As a result, Franklin Roosevelt decorated Peter Tomich with the highest military award, the Medal of Honor, in March 1942 for his heroism on December 7, 1941 at Pearl Harbor. Admiral Bob Rosen, the commander of the New York Naval Militia, issued me military orders to search and identify the next of kin so that a proper presentation of this Medal of Honor would occur. We had a lot of background information from Adam Materovich. He's the president of the Croatian uh, American Genealogical Society in California. I had the help of uh, Luke Kresnik, a journalist from Croatia. We were all directed eventually to the Franciscan Monastery of Pumat, <coughs> where we obtained copies of all the records. We got to that Franciscan Monastery, and to my surprise, they had records hundreds of years old, and I warn all of you Croatians, those Franciscans know all about you. <laughs> they have every record, book, and document as to who was doing what to whom and with whom. Uh, I must also mention that here in America, I've had the strong support of Ed Andrus, the president of the National Federation of Croatian Americans, who's here with us today, and my good friend, the great Pro Croatian patriot, Nenad Bak. I think Nenad is here with that. The only guy with the hat on. <laughs> uh, together with the important help from Ambassador Amir Muharemi. Do I pronounce it right? Did it, give, it, give it to me. The, is that right? <laughs> so, now, just in conclusion, uh, the reason we accept awards is to invigorate others to do good as individuals, groups, and whole countries. If we calculate the contributions of Croatian Americans, then the size of Croatia does not matter, as witnessed by the valor of Peter Tomic. Our friendship with Croatia should grow on the basis of honorable history, a history of shared values, values that are universal and destined to radiate throughout the world. Our two nations have been and will be true allies. Finally, as President John F. Kennedy stated, a nation reveals itself by the men it produces, but also by the men it honors and the men it remembers. Today, we really honor Chief Tomich, and we will always remember him. Thank you very much. This is the best part. <laughs>